Hi, I'm Sandy and this is Heavenly Hand Spinning's Arrow, electric spinning wheel. Beautiful, isn't she? She's Scotch tension, as opposed to Irish tension, and she's small and petite, so she's easy to bring along with you just about anywhere. First, I'd like to thank Richard and Jan Ford for creating Heavenly Hand Spinning in the first place. Sturdy, beautiful, affordable spinning wheels you no longer have to spend a thousand dollars just to spend a pound of fiber. Now you get beauty and ease. Let's start by putting her together. You get all this, except my extension cord, when you buy the arrow. This is the whisper. Turtle, rabbit, slower, faster. Clockwise, off, counterclockwise. I spin clockwise. I apply counterclockwise. Let's start. It's been a while since I put her together, so we'll learn together. Band here. Down to here. Because it's scotch tension, you also have this tension in the back. So you pull that string up and around. Wow, we're almost done already. Now to connect it to your whisper controller. There's a black cord there. This would go power to spinner. Power to spinner. And that's Falcor, my <laughs> barn cat. This is power to power. It goes down here. Be good, Falcor. And here. Now, before I put any yarn or any fiber on it, let's check it to make sure I've done it right. I'm going to turn it clockwise. See how fast? That's slow. I've done it right. You're now really better, ready to spring. You've got everything all lined up. Let's spin together a little bit, shall we? First thing I'd like to do is put a lead yarn on there. And I brought that outside with me. Round your hook, round your hook through the center, down into the orifice. Oops. Let's tuck this down in there. Orifice hook. This is like the hardest part of spinning that I ever had. It's grabbing things with the orifice hook because I can't see. Now you want to make sure you're through all your hooks. Hooks on there. Let's spin just a little bit just to see. And I'm holding on to my lead rope. My lead yarn is twisting. See the twist? So I know I've set it up right. And I'll stop. I'll show you how to adjust the tension once we have our fiber prepared. And this is some luscious stuff I'm going to start spinning. You'll notice, by the way, when I turned it off, I left my speed exactly where it was so I know when I go back in, it's ready for me. All I did was turn off the power. And I came off. When this happens, and I'm not going to restart the video, because this will happen to you all too, I'm going to scotch tape it on there. Tie it in a knot.
and start again. Maybe this time I can even get the artificial to do its job properly. is the hardest part of spinning for me. It's so easy to put these wheels together and it's so easy to spin once you have them together. I'm just uncoordinated with orifice hook. It's kind of sad, I know. This hook was made for me by Genevieve Fiber Pusher Fairy, by the way. Now I'm going to check my hooks again. Make sure I'm tight so I don't embarrass myself completely. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit till I check it. Speed it back up and let the twist build up. I find it a lot easier to have a nice lead. I call it rope. It's just an inexpensive yarn. Just something to help with the twist. Take your fiber. Notice how it's pulling right on to my yarn already. Let it draw in. I'm going to adjust my tension, which is down here, just a little bit so it pulls in a little bit stronger. In this beautiful fiber, I love it. And it's that easy to spin on Heavenly Hand Spinning's arrow. Let's spin a while, shall we? It's not supposed to rain for about a half hour for a change. Don't even need to pre-draw, although it does make it easier. Because it's Scotch tension, it's much easier to spin thinner like this than it is with Irish tension, I've found. I'll show you Irish tension spinning wheels from Heavenly Hand Spinning in other videos. It's really that easy. It took about, what, two minutes? Four minutes at most? From the time I sat down to the time I was spinning. This is the arrow from Heavenly Hand Spinning. If you're impatient, you can go faster, but why not enjoy the journey? Look at all the subtle shades. Feel how smooth and hear how quiet it is. I love spinning outside. But the whisper is so quiet that I can even spin in the living room while my husband is in front of the TV watching or napping. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit faster so I can show you. Nice, isn't it? My piece. If you have any questions, 
feel free to ask me. You can click on the link and ask me, or you can ask me privately if you prefer. I'm in my hand spinning. <laughs> this is so easy. This is so quiet. So very peaceful. This is the arrow available on their website or on Etsy. How nicely it goes on. Once you've filled up that spot, then you want to move using this knob here. Another spot. Make sure your hooks are in the right spot and just begin again. Since I kept the speed right where it was, I don't have to worry about that. All I have to do is turn it on or off. We also have a foot pedal. I'll show you that in another video. So it starts again. Don't worry about the tape. It'll be used up it'll be underneath your spinning. The Arrow by Heavenly Hand Spinning. I just love it. Thank you for watching.